Hi guys, this is Mr. Murphy and this is a unit on standard 7.rp.1 compute unit rates or compute unit rates associated with ratios of fractions including ratios of lengths, areas and other quantities measured in like or different units. For example, if a person walks a half a mile in each quarter hour, compute the unit rate as the complex fraction one half over one fourth miles per hour, equivalently two miles per hour. So, first question is, what is a unit rate? Well, a unit rate is a ratio with one unit. Now, you might say, well, what's a ratio? Well, well, that is the number of times that one value contains or is contained within another, like there is a ratio of three adults to two students, or, well, I guess in a classroom there's a ratio of one adult to 28 students. So that's a ratio. So how do we compute the unit rates for a ratio? It's pretty simple. You just find the quantity and divide by the number of units, and that gives us the rate for one unit. So for example, if a bus is traveling in 300 miles, travels 300 miles in five hours, how fast is it traveling? So we are just going to take, divide the quantity by the units. The quantity 300 divided by the units, which is hours. So 300 divided by five equals 60. The bus is traveling at 60 miles per hour. So creating a ratio for a unit rate. Another way to solve a rate problem is to set up a ratio. In the last example, a bus travels at 300 miles in 5 hours. How fast is it traveling? So the ratio of the bus to hours is 300 over 5. This one here. The unit ratio is how fast is the bus traveling in 1 hour. So we, we know it has a ratio of 300 to 5. We want to know the ratio uh, for one hour, but we don't know that. So we don't know how fast the bus is traveling, so we use x. So that would be x divided by one. So solve the ratio 300 over five equals x over one, because if they're proportional, which these are, <clears throat> then the ratios are equivalent. So 300 over five, it'll travel the same amount of miles every one hour. So uh, use a little algebra to solve this, 300 times 1, uh, multiply both sides by 1, and then multiply both sides by 5, the 5 cancels out, I have 300 equals, the 1 cancels out on the other side, 5 times x. So 300 equals 5x, divide both sides by 5, 60 divided, or 300 divided by 5 is 60. So it gives us 60 miles an hour again. <clears throat> scale factor or the constant of proportionality this is most often used when you compare shapes that are similar and that's just a geometric term for shapes that are exactly the same except one is smaller than the other and it's smaller by a ratio so take these two triangles here this on the left and this on the right triangle on the left is 10 inches up and down and 12 inches across well, the triangle on the right is four inches up and down, and we don't know how many inches are across, but they're proportional, so we can find the scale factor. Well, <clears throat> 10 times what number equals four? So uh, 10x is equals four. If I divide both sides by 10, instead of 10x's, I have 1x, and then four divided by 10 is the fraction four tenths. So my scale factor is 4 tenths. So I multiply the second side, <clears throat> 12 times my scale factor of 4 tenths, and if I put that in my calculator, or I just multiply, like I know, 4 times 12 is 48, divided by 10 is 4.8. So x equals 4.8 inches. If 
this side is 10 inches and this side is 4 inches, scale factor of 4 tenths, then this side is 12 inches and this side is 4.8 inches. <clears throat> How about an example with complex fractions? This was in our standard up front. So if a person walks a half mile in each quarter hour, compute the unit rate as a complex fraction one half over one fourth miles per hour or equivalently two miles an hour. So the complex fraction is one half over one fourth. The fraction one half is over the fraction one fourth. So you have two fractions there. And we have to solve those two fractions to make it a little prettier. We remember that a fraction bar just means divide. This is easy. Now we have one half divide by, divided by one fourth. So I just keep change and flip. I keep the one half, multiply by four over one. And one times four is four, two times one is two, so I have four over two, and four over two reduces to two. So the complex fraction of one half divided by one fourth, or one half over one fourth, is really just two. <clears throat> Summary. Computing a unit rate is dividing the quantity by the number of units. This gives us the rate for one unit. It's pretty simple. Sometimes we create a ratio and use algebra to solve the missing term. And sometimes we find the scale factor and multiply by that scale factor to find the missing term. In any way, we're finding the unit rate for one unit or using that unit rate to solve a problem. Thank you for listening. Good luck on standard 7.rp1, computing unit rates.